All right, Indianapolis, let's get growing places. We have some seeds to plant that will grow a garden at the White River State Park and seeds for change in how we think about food and farming. These seeds represent promise for a vibrant food culture for the next Indianapolis. The White River State Park will host the first growing place and is ideal for planting these seeds because it represents the ability to materialize a radically new reality in Indianapolis. Having transformed the heart of the city from a dying industrial wasteland into a vibrant, inspiring place of education and pleasure, it perfectly embodies our vision for the future of food and farming. It is the ideal first location because it is not connected to a single neighborhood and welcoming to all, open to the public daily. With three million annual visitors, the park offers the opportunity for many new people to discover the local food movement. Beginning in January, the, these 6,000 square feet, right there, of fallow land will be transformed into a place actively growing food and community. We invite you to join us to design and construct the garden, prepare the soil, plant seeds, weed, help harvest, and you can even sell at the farmer's market. Most importantly, we want you to eat with us. A recently awarded grant from the Indiana State Department of Agriculture enables Slow Food Indy and the White River State Park to entrust Matthew Josie and I to ensure that this project provides Indianapolis with a useful resource, a replicable model, and genuine food for thought. With your added support, this project will achieve exceptional impact. Gardens capture our imagination. They tap into our inherent connection to the natural world. Nourishing soil, nurturing plants, and sharing the fruits of our labor reminds us of the complex relationships and delicate balance required for life to thrive. At Get Growing in St. James Park in London, I watched people wander unexpectedly into this educational vegetable garden. They took time to look, to read signs about compost, beneficial insects, companion planting. They shared stories with strangers about gardens of their past and present. It's happening around the world, and Indianapolis is no exception. People are hungry for alternatives to the anonymity, insecurity, and tastelessness of industrial agriculture. They are going out of their way to attend farmers markets, visit farms, and share their food stories as part of a growing community. As more people begin to demand the kind of food produced on small-scale diversified farms, the kind of farming that fed the founders of our great city and once covered the land on which our city now stands, it will require more farmers and a new paradigm for farming. Sustainable urban agriculture can and should be a contributing sector of the local economy. This project truly is about growing the next Indianapolis. It is about planting seeds for a sustainable, secure, and delightful food future now, while there is energy and excitement around food and urban farming, rather than allowing another generation to grow up with the diseases of our disconnected food ecology. We have identified fruits and vegetables suited to Indiana growing conditions, yet difficult to find from local farmers, and varieties identified by slow food as at risk of disappearing. We will work to build consumer demand, your demand, for these products by selling them at farmers markets, local restaurants, and putting that revenue back into building self-sufficiency. As founder of the Indianapolis Winter Farmers Markets, I've earned trust in our farming community. Growing Places will support farm product expansion by testing specialty crops in the marketplace, sharing our successes and failures with farmers, and alleviating new product risk for farmers whose livelihoods are risky enough. A vision garden, envision, excuse me, garden sprouting in partnership with restaurants and food carts in neighborhoods all over town, tended by and managed by urban farmers trained in the Growing Places program, eating food from these gardens, you would be assured that the farmers were trained for urban growing and methods that are safe and sustainable. Envision the cultural trail, our bike lanes, and other trail systems as thoroughfares for transporting farm fresh food around the city. 
we will not require tractors or petroleum-based inputs, reminding people that our bodies are built for physical activity and the satisfaction of manual labor. <laughs> Matthew's Big City Farms transformed eight vacant lots on the Near East Side into a successful urban farm that provided produce to over 25 member families, some here tonight, and several Indianapolis restaurants. Last year, with the help of the Urban Farm Project, he provided summer employment for two Arsenal Tech students to grow food for a food pantry. And our goal is not only to employ high school and college students, but to empower them with the knowledge and resources to plan, plant, harvest, and enjoy eating from growing places and eating places of their own innovation and direction. Through the Slow Food Network, we have access to the lessons and experiences of farmers and experts from around Indiana, the nation, and the globe, who are a few steps ahead in the sustainable and urban agriculture movement. And Indianapolis will become a resource to those where the movement is still a few steps behind. Yearning to connect in ways that food and farming uniquely provide universities, Civic organizations, museums, and others have contacted us, requesting resources, direction, and training. This project aims to provide for this demand and elevate public awareness of often unseen efforts. The ISDA has leveraged, the grant has leveraged some mutually beneficial partnerships. It has attracted attention from local and national media.